Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Oh, Jerry. Uh, yeah, Bump? What are you doing? Just playing with rags. Why? I just saw Bennett walk over to his wagon with a mailbag. Why don't you run over there and see if we got any mail? All right. You keep rags here with you. <laughs> no, you can't go. You stay here and keep Bump's company. <laughs> here, here, rags. You just sit right here for a minute. Jerry will be right back. I'll be back in, in one minute. <laughs> No, no, no. Take it easy, Rags. He's just going over to the office wagon. <laughs> oh, 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 it's you, Pat. Oh, <laughs> golly, you hadn't ought to sneak up on an old man like that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bump. Uh, Where's Jerry? Oh, he just went over to see if Jim had any mail for us. Oh, that's right. It is time for the mail. Yeah, I just saw him come across the lot with a mail bag. Mm, I was kind of expecting a letter from Mother today. Oh, that's so? Mm-hmm. Oh, look, Bumps, here comes Jerry now. <laughs> Look at that boy run. <laughs> oh, I guess he's getting in practice so he can challenge you again. <laughs> Goodness, he's fast. <laughs> Say, he's got up a lot of steam, all right. <laughs> come on, Jerry, come on. We're betting on you. Am I winning? <laughs> Say, you won. <laughs> wow. I got going so fast, I couldn't stop. <laughs> oh, you pretty near got ahead of your shadow that time. <laughs> well, any mail for us, Jerry? Uh-uh. We didn't get anything, but I got a letter from Mr. Bradley. Oh, then the trip wasn't wasted, eh? Uh, you don't know if there was a letter for me, do you, Jerry? I didn't ask. I don't know, Patsy. Uh, I'll take a walk over there in a minute. Uh, is that Johnny's letter? Then? Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, what kind of a stamp is that on? Let's see. Oh, it's, it's a special delivery. I didn't notice that. Well, you'd best take that right over to him, Jerry. It might be something important. Okay. Come on, Rags. Just see you in a little while, Patsy. All right, Jerry. Come on, Rags. Come on. Well, hurry up, then. Is he there? Wait a minute. I'll, I'll see you. It, it's Jerry, Mr. Bradley. Oh, come in, Jerry. I've got a letter for you. It, it's a special delivery. Thank you, Jerry. Should I close the door? Hmm? What? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. Just leave it open. Say. What is it? Why, this is from my boy. Did he get the money already? Oh, wait until I glance over this, Jerry. Oh, I don't see how you could get an answer so soon if it had to go all the way to New York first. Jerry. He's getting married tomorrow. Tomorrow, Jerry. This letter has been delayed. They didn't forward it right on to me. And listen to this. And we would love to have you present at the wedding. I've just made a wonderful connection, and my practice is doing fine. Oh, that's keen. And then he says, we are moving into a big house and have reserved a room just for you. Please try to be here for the wedding and plan on staying with us. Please, Dad. Mr. Bradley, what's the matter? Uh, Mr. Bradley? Now what'll I do? Bumps! Patsy! Oh, where did they go? M Mr. Randall! Oh, Mr. Randall! Here, Jerry. Come here, quick. What's the trouble? Uh, it's Mr. Bradley. Something's happened to him. Uh, what did you say, Jerry? Something's happened to Mr. Bradley. Why? Johnny. Johnny! All of a sudden, he fell over. You got some water there in that picture, Jerry. Okay. Johnny! Hey, what's the trouble, old boy? Uh, here you are. Yeah. Uh, all right, slip that pillow under his head. 
Here, Johnny, drink this. What's the matter with him? Oh, just another one of his heart spells, Jerry. I guess he sort of fainted. He'll come around all right. Oh. Yeah. All right, Johnny, you'll be all right now. Now, take it easy. I, I must have... Uh, uh, no, no, just be quiet. Now, here, here, take another drink. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Randall. I... All right. Well, what happened, Johnny? What, what brought this on? He just got a letter from his son. Oh, something wrong? Oh, no, no. He's getting married tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's not so bad, is it? Oh, no, of course <laughs> not. I, I really don't know what made me. I, I'm very sorry, Oh, sir. there's nothing to be sorry about, Johnny. Well, you just can't get excited. Now, you know that. Here. Read this, Mr. Randall. Yeah, right. I didn't know what happened to you, Mr. Bradley. You, you started to shake, and then you got real light, and you fell over on the cot. Well, this is one of Rose's predictions come true. What do you mean? Well, remember? She told me I'd have a surprise and and warned me not to get excited. That's right, she did. Oh, I, this is wonderful news, Johnny. Well, this is a marvelous opportunity for you. What's that? Well, your boy says he's doing fine, and... He wants you to come and live with him. Oh, no, Mr. Randall. I I don't think that's the exact place for an old no, man. No, no, no. Wait a minute, Johnny. Well, can I do anything? Uh, no, no, thanks, Jerry. You then I'd better be getting over to yeah. the horse top and get to work. I, I hope you'll feel better, Mr. Bradley. Well, thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Well, bye, then. See you later. Uh, goodbye, Jerry. Now, now, listen, Johnny. Some time ago, you told me you wanted to stay with the circus just long enough to see your boy established in business. Yes. Yes, I remember. Well, he's doing fine now. And, and he wants you to come and live with him. Why don't you go, Johnny? It, it's meant so much to me, Mr. Randall. I mean, the circus. Oh, I can't bear the thought of leaving it. And all my fine friends. Oh, I understand how you feel, but this is something fine for you. Not only for you, but for your boy as well. Don't you see it that way, Johnny? Well, sir, I, I suppose I have outlived my usefulness around the circus. Why, nonsense. Why, that isn't it at all. It's, it's just that you're not well and you need a rest. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. You, you'd you like to be at that boy's wedding, wouldn't you? Oh, I would, Mr. Randall. But that can't be. He's getting married now, tomorrow. Now, 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 wait a minute. There's a plane out of here tonight at midnight. It'll get you in Jackson City before noon tomorrow. Well, I couldn't afford an aeroplane trip, now, Mr. Now, Randall. listen to this, Johnny. Listen. You've got a bonus. A bonus? What for? Well, I thought of giving you a raise in salary a while back, but then I decided to save up that difference in your pay and give it to you in one lump sum. You'll have enough for the trip by plane and a tidy little amount left. Oh, Mr. Randall, this this is all happening so quickly. Oh, no, I... no, 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 no. Take it easy. Take it easy, Johnny. Then this is my last day with the circus? Yes, Johnny. It's best that way. Tonight you do your final performance and go on to a better life. You'll see. You'll be happy, Johnny. Tonight at midnight, you take that plane for Jackson City. See those lights up ahead, Bumps? Oh, I guess that's the airport, Patsy. Already? Only too soon, Jerry. No, that's not it. Oh, say, Johnny. Yes, Bumps? I want to tell you that tonight's performance was the finest I've ever seen you turn in. <laughs> Say, you were great, Johnny. And did you hear that applause? Oh, Johnny, the audience simply went wild. Well, that's nice of you to say that. Well, it's true. Everybody was talking about your act. I was saving the best for the last. Maybe I did try a little harder tonight. Even Lulu was more lively than usual. Well, by the way, Johnny, uh, what did you do with that duck of yours? I gave her to a hooligan bump. He always liked her so, and he'll be good to oh, us. Oh, sure he will. Why, Johnny Bradley, you big baby. You're crying. No, I'm... I'm oh, a... no, buck up, Johnny. I know it's tough leaving all the folks and things that have been so dear to you for so long, but everything's just going to work out fine for you. Oh, I know. I know, Bumps. I, I guess I'm just over-sentimental. I should think you'd be all excited riding an airplane. I wish I could go up in one. I am leaving in grand style. And it's awfully nice of you to come out here with me and see me off. Oh, it just couldn't be any other way. I'll never forget you folks. And your kindness to me. Uh, we won't be forgetting Johnny Bradley either. I'll say we won't. When we get on the train tonight, we'll miss you. And tomorrow when we set up in our next stand, it'll, it'll seem funny if you're not around the backyard. And it's going to seem funny to me not having to put on a makeup tomorrow. Uh, I haven't missed a day in many years. <laughs> Your face will appreciate the rest, Johnny. Hey, look. That's the airport now. 
see the big light in that tower? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, that's it, all right. What time is it? Here, no, wait a minute, let me see. It's just a few minutes to 12. We'll just about make it. What time does your train pull out? We leave at 1.15, don't we, Bump? Yeah, that's right. And we'll have plenty of time to make it back. That's a nice-looking airport. It's like a railroad station, isn't it? Yeah. Well, here we are. <laughs> Come on, hop out, Jerry. Okay. Here, Jerry, you take one of these grips for Johnny. Yeah, and I'll get the other. Well... Have you got everything now? Uh-huh. Come on. It, there's a plane out there now. I'll go over here and pick up my ticket. Excuse me, please. Oh, he's taking it pretty hard, Patsy. Yeah, I guess the circus has meant an awful lot to him. I should think he'd be glad to get a rest after working all of his life. Well, show folks don't look at it that way, Jerry. They all want to live and die in harness. Oh, they're loading the plane now. I, I guess that's the one. Golly. Isn't it big? Yeah, 14 passengers. Uh, here you are, Porter. Uh, those two brown bags. I'll take that little black one in the seat with me. Yeah, sir. I'll give you a check to the stewardess, sir. All set. Uh, come on now. It's exciting, isn't it, Johnny? I guess it's a, a sort of thrill for me at that. Your ticket, sir? Here you are, sir. Thank you. Seat seven. Well, Johnny, I, I guess this is uh, goodbye. It's better to say uh, I'll be seeing you. Yes, Jerry. Much better. Well, have a nice trip, Johnny. So long, Johnny. N and drop us a note and tell us all about the wedding. You bet I will. Well, I'll be seeing you all. So long. And watch my window, Jerry. Uh, what did he say? He wants you to watch his window. I guess he's going to wave to us. Oh, there he is now. See? You see him? In that third window there. There he goes. <laughs> I'd kind of like to be going up in the air myself. This is kind of getting me. <laughs> I think Johnny's enjoying it, too. He seemed a little brighter the minute he saw the plane. Here it comes now. It's off the ground. Look, Jerry, Johnny's opening his window. What's he got in his hand? Hey, he's throwing something out. Look at it. It's a little parachute. And it's got something hanging on to it. That's what Johnny meant when he told you to watch his window, Jerry. It's something for you. I'm going to run out and get it. Wait. It's going to land right over there. Oh, it's a little box, Jerry. I'm going to get it. Now, isn't that just like Johnny? Yeah. Johnson? Well, what is it, Jerry? Oh, I don't know. Well, what does it look like? He made a little parachute out of a handkerchief, and, and here's a box tied to it. Well, what's it say there on that little card? Let's see. For Jerry, so you'll always remember, Johnny Bradley. Now, isn't that nice? Yeah. Say, we'd best be getting back. we got to catch our train. Come well, on. Well, aren't you going to open the box, Jerry? Well, I'll open it on the way back to town. Golly, I, I wonder what's in it. <laughs> 